What's going on guys, March 15th, beautiful day out today as you can see, no you can't really tell, but sun is shining, it's in the low 50s I believe right now, I just stepped outside in a stringer and I wasn't cold, and I'm always cold, so definitely looking forward to the nicer weather coming, I think we just got lucky today, it's going to drop down to the 20s this week, but spring's coming soon, this is a stringer, I love the way these things fit, like I said they sit high on the traps, they don't show too much nip, or at all. So you know a lot of stringers sometimes they come down like this or they show the side of your nipple. These don't show that but they will show your lats a little bit and they do show the back very well too. So really cool. Really happy with the way these came out. I think they look cool. The logo fits well on them and they're comfortable. So really excited to rock my own stringer in the gym today. We're just gonna hit some back and buys. Nothing too crazy and you know, I might have taken some time off, but I didn't lose too much size. A couple days off from the gym is never a bad thing. Keep your nutrition in check. That's important. But we're going to make a pre-workout this morning. I wish I had a pre-workout already made. So, like I said before, making your own pre-workout in bulk with the ingredients is a pain in the ass. It just gets annoying. Sometimes you want to just take a scoop, put it in your shaker, and go to the gym. But I don't have any. I still have bulk ingredients from months and months ago. I don't take a pre-workout every day, so these are the ingredients that I have, beta alanine, sitmal, caffeine, LCLT, and we are going to go with lemonade. So all of these in that shaker with some lemonade, and I'm going to go mix that up real quick. That stringer dough. What's going on, guys? Just figured I would throw in a couple of clips and some voiceovers. Really showing you the stringer, how it looks and everything. So that's it. <laughs> Not much to show, but like any other stringer, just better because it's mine. But I figured I would talk over a few clips here. Lat pullover machine. If your gym has this, take advantage of it. The movement that you're performing here is exactly what the lats are intended to do although they have many different functions extension and adduction are two of them so medial movement towards the midline of your body which is what you see here moving your upper arm down towards the side of your body this mimics that perfectly really takes other muscles out of it and really lets you target the lat so you mess around with the seat height until it feels comfortable your hands are just there for guidance and you really pull through the elbows and lats I yeah, moved on to a couple of pull-ups. I did a few sets of five, really emphasizing full range of motion since these will be a part of my program. And I don't think we'll be using any weight. So again, the main focus is on, look how slow I'm going. I'm not standing when I hit the ground, even though you can't see my feet. I am suspended in the air. But again, really focusing on a full lockout, starting the movement with the shoulder blades, uh, retracted and pulling through the elbows and getting that full range. So... That was that, and threw in a couple of curls because, well, <laughs> who doesn't love curls? Really, again, you see at the bottom of the movement, locking out the tricep, and just really trying to get that mind-to-muscle connection back after taking a little time away from the gym, focusing on as strict movement as I can, and that pretty much wraps up the workout, guys. I did a little core work and some rear delts afterwards, and that was about it. What's going on guys? Just finished up at the gym. That's my gym for those who don't know. Fitness Plus. So if you know of that gym and you're in the area, hit me up and we'll train. But felt really good today. It was nice to just take that mental break for a couple of days. Come back at it today. I cut the weights pretty much in half and really just focused on feeling the muscle work. You know, we all have those days where we go in and we kind of do some cheat reps here and there. And that's all well and good. That's fine. You could do that. But today was just one of those days where, you know, I really focus on full range of motion and just getting back into the swing of things. So felt really good, feel really good. And if you feel like you're just losing a little bit of motivation or maybe it's just not there, you don't have that excitement to get into the gym, you may need a couple of days away from the gym. And I don't mean days off from lifting and going into the gym and doing cardio. Stop going through the motions of making your pre-workout, driving to the gym, signing in, warming up. Just stop for a couple of days, give yourself that rest and then go back and hit it. You'll be much more motivated and excited to train rather than it just being another thing on your to-do list. So that's my take on it. Got a beautiful day out today. It's around 
50 or so degrees out. So I think I'm gonna go wash my truck actually. Either way, gonna enjoy the day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. Go home, get some food, and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. In that there truck. All right, so for those that ask in my vlogs what kind of car or truck do I drive, this is a 2002 Chevy Trailblazer, so it is 12 years old already. Uh, I bought it last year off my buddy Joe. It's got a little over 100,000 miles, so an old truck, but taking care of it, it's the nicest car that I've had so far. I've had a lot of beaters before. I've had no car that was ever newer than 10 years old. I've driven all my cars either had a broken window or a window that wouldn't go up, no AC, no heat, dents, transmissions that blew, so... Really cross my fingers that this one lasts me a couple more years. I really like it. When I bought it, the bumper and the frame were actually completely dented in. And just two days ago, thanks to my cousin, he uh, threw a new bumper on there for me and took the dent out. So really happy with that. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to wash it up and show you when it's all done. Hopefully it looks a little bit cleaner. <laughs> Looking pretty good though. Got a little shine back to it. Deuce of all places, this is where you lay. You have the whole driveway, you have the whole lawn, right in the bushes. <laughs> What's the matter for you? Hey, Zeus. <laughs> Are you sleeping? Zeus. <laughs> Good, he's moving. Say hi to the people. Where are your eyes? What's the matter? You hungry? You want a cookie? Ah, now your eyes open. You want a cookie? Ah, <laughs> good boy. He's a good boy. Tell the kid to stop crying. Woo, productive day. Car cleaned up and now just got my whole clothing closet set up. So once the orders come through, you will be ready to ship. And there it is. Really excited for this, guys. This is enormous. Look at the consistency, it won't even move. It's like frozen yogurt, and it's huge. I don't even know if this does justice of how big it is. Put it next to my head. This is all full of, and all that's in there is 75 grams of blueberries, that's all I had left, 150 grams of strawberries, both frozen by the way, one cup of unsweetened almond milk, two scoops of protein powder, and a shit ton of ice. So that's the volume you get. You gotta use frozen berries to get this consistency and add ice as needed and add water as needed while it's blending. And that's what you get. And then we got Reese's Puffs to throw on top. Boom. I think it's time for one of the most important meals of the day, pizza and burritos. So this is going to be the dinner. First we have a burrito right there. You guys have seen this in many videos before. Got a side of pretzels just because I was in the mood with some honey mustard to dip them in. And wait for it. I know you're Myron. Flatbread pizza. So that is made on a Joseph's lavish wrap that's the name of the brand 
And we have some chicken, a mix of buffalo and sriracha sauce, and some red onion and low fat shredded mozzarella, baked to perfection. And I can't wait to eat that up, so. That's dinner along with some Diet Pepsi. Must acquire bigger plates. Mm. Perfect. And that's how I do it. Cut them up into strips like that and eat them one at a time.